Hey, I'm Adam. I'm Brian. Back with another episode of Buds and Suds. So, we have had Bodie from Columbus Brewing Company, and we have reviewed it. Uh, I think that was thanks to Drew, wasn't it? Or who is that thanks to? Who got it? Anyway, doesn't matter. So, I was thinking it was Sammy or uh, could have been. Jeff. Um, Jeff. Those guys are in Ohio. Well, yeah. I got this from Andrea. Thank you, Andrea. Uh, I had a little trade with Thank her, you, and she sent this uh, as an extra, and I wasn't even expecting it. So, super excited. 10% is one that we wanted to try. 10%, 100 IBUs. Again, Columbus Brewing in Columbus, Ohio. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's, let's do, do it. it. I mean, it's not haze bra. It's it's kind of no, clearish. It is clear. Nice, beautiful, old golden orange it's, color. Yeah. And the description says, you know, heavy on malt. So yeah. I, mean, I would expect it's going to have some good malt to it. Creamy white heads. Right. Let's, let's get the nose. Get the nose. <sighs> yeah. It smells like a malty IPA. <sighs> yeah, it's it's kind of like a con. I, mean, I get this kind of like sweet honey malt thing. Uh huh. And I get this kind of lemony grapefruit fruitiness to it. Okay. I mean, I get a little bit of fruitiness. And this is, it's less than a month old. And it's yeah. been in the fridge the whole time. Yeah. So it shouldn't have any oxidation. Yeah. But it smells like West Coast. Yeah, it does. Right. Cheers. Right. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, oh. That's a punch of like lemon juice yeah, to me though. Um, I was thinking lemon juice then pine. Yeah. Pine is, I mean, really big pine is next. Oh. Mm. But it doesn't, the initial does not come off as West Coast. This is candy ish, like those little lemon drop candies. It's got a sweet finish to it. Mm hmm. Uh -huh. It doesn't come off as that aggressive, bitter West Coast beer to me. I'm mm -hmm. getting this kind of, I know lemon is a, like a bitter fruit, but this is like a lemon candy to me. Mm. And pine, yeah, I get this kind of like piney thing too. Yeah, but it's, I get piney, it's much milder maybe grassy. Um, I like it quite a bit. I mean, it's it's mm. it's certainly not mm. an East Coast. You know, from the description, I thought it was going to be. It said citrusy. I thought it was going to be East Coast. That was but, probably an early description right, right. before the New England IPA. But I off. get that. Like this is like a this is a lemon candy to me. Like, I really like this. It's sweet, lemony. Mm -hmm. I'm taking some very small sips. I took a little bit bigger. That's ten percent. And I got a bigger kind of almost booziness to it there. So it's a nice little sipper. Hmm. Uh. I am really digging this. This this lemon candy thing going on. That's the best description. I keep going back to it, but yeah. If you don't like mm. if you don't like piney West Coast IPAs, mm. I, I don't think you'll like this very much. Yeah, it's good though. I like it quite it, a bit. But it's I mean it stands out to me. It's not your yeah. typical aggressive like uh, um, you know piney or something like right. that. It doesn't. It's 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 different than that. It's got a little more of this sweeter lemon. It's got a sweet thing. Finish, yeah, yeah. Which you know a lot of uh -huh. the West Coast have a very dry right. finish. Right. To kind of accentuate mm. those you know. The West Coast yeah. hops. That's really cool. Um, I thought I'd had this before, but this does not I, stand I, out I, to I, me. I like it quite. A, it's. I think it's different than most other IPAs I've had. Mm -hmm. hmm. No, I really dig that. Um, I'm gonna go four three three. Yeah, four three three for me too. I was a thinking bump above four two five. And, and part of my been expectations because we were talking, we're like, it's not hazy. It's gonna be West Coast, and and it, not that those beers are bad, but just you know how we are. We like right. we're haze bros, and so well. and and when this. This exceeded my expectations. Mine too. Yeah, I, I really like this. This is a treat. And I like how, to me, it's unique compared to a lot of the IPAs mm -hmm. we drink. I mean, a lot of them are just, you know, Columbus or uh, Centennial Hops, where it just has that, you know, that very distinct flavor, which is fine, but there's a lot of beers out there mm -hmm. that have, you know, those types of hops in it. But um, this one, it's it's definitely different, which mm -hmm. I like. I, I need yeah. a, If you know what hops, please post on our yeah. site, because I'd love to know what hops it is because uh, it, it definitely has a nice pine kick but some lemony flavor too mm -hmm. yeah thanks again andrea I really and maybe the name it. is it creeps up on you at 10 percent because it's easy drinking but yeah. Uh, yeah thank you andrea i appreciate it this is nice so 43s for both of us stands out over top your typical west coast ipa it does. but not not a new england ipa <laughs> right it is definitely not um anything else no as always guys if you have the beer you love love the beer you have thanks